What's up guys and welcome back to Gladiators 10. Instead, I really hope that I managed to create the awesome Christmas atmosphere with all of these lights and decorations and of course this uh, wonderful Christmas tree and yes for those of you glads who aren't that much into art it's okay you know appreciation of fine art comes with a little bit of age I'll explain that this is in fact a Christmas tree and not only is it just there for decoration purposes it also is hiding some presents and not just any presents but the top five best rackets of 2023 roll the animation and yeah glads I know that you might say like Grish but Christmas isn't even remotely close yet why are you doing all this Christmas video vibe and things well because you know Black Friday deals are currently going on and I really wouldn't want you guys to to miss them so I decided to compile this top five list so you get your presents to your loved ones you know family friends and maybe maybe yourself who knows before those deals are over so yes every single racket mentioned in the video has a separate full-on review where I go into more detail on every single one of them I will leave the links to those videos down in the description below together with the links to get these rackets because right now is probably the best time to do so as uh, Tenet's Warehouse is absolutely popping off with the Black Friday deals but without further ado let's start with number five. All right, so let's see what's hiding under the Christmas tree. And for convenience purposes, uh, for convenience purposes, it's not exactly gonna be under the tree, but rather on top of the tree. All right, hopefully I don't cut any of the rackets. <sighs> what do we got here? The Wilson Pro Stuff 97 V14. So the Wilson Pro Stuff 97, I mean, it really doesn't need any introduction. We all know what this racket is, it's been out there for absolutely ages best control best feel you know you name it and you know I say best control best feel because that's kind of what this racket is uh, meant to be maybe you might not agree but honestly although this racket is no longer endorsed by Roger Federer because he uh, finished his career and I also hope that under the street would have uh, a letter saying that Roger is back but uh, you know it's still a really good racket if you're looking for control for really good feel and stability this is uh, still one of the best choices you can have it's definitely not a very beginner friendly racket because well it's relatively heavy and plus the sweet spot due to the pretty small head is quite small so it's really not as forgiving as some of the other rackets on this list but you know if you've been in the game for a while and you're looking for a very control oriented and good feeling racket with a pretty cool heritage and history the Pro Stop 97 is definitely a really good choice now on to racket number four I feel like I might get a little tired of walking back and forth, so let's just... So, racket number four, what do we have here? This is the Babala Pure Iro Rafa Origin Edition. And uh, yeah, you might say that this racket is not for everyone, for maybe like 2% of the people watching this video, but still, I really wanted to mention that this definitely got my attention out of all of the rackets that I've reviewed over the year because this doesn't feel like a normal Iro. It's way more stable, it has great penetration, but it still manages to keep that crazy good spin and really, really good power. The power might even be a little bit too much because it's very heavy and it's, you know, kind of most of it is in the head, so it's, uh, it's, it's very noticeable. So yeah, not everyone is gonna manage to handle it, but guys, this is pretty much like a pro stock racket, so it's not supposed to be easy to handle. But if you wanna kind of have fun and your elbows and shoulders and all of that joints are in good shape, definitely give it a shot because it's a, it's a pretty cool experience. If you manage to handle it, you'll be surprised by the amount of winners that you'll be making. It's either gonna be ball to the fence or a winner. Trust me on that one. And now, let's move on to racket number three. Oh, no, no, wait, hold on, wait, what number three? Not number three yet. Before you guys go absolutely nuts because I put the Rafa Origin Edition on, Number four of this list, I have to mention a racket that is actually playable and can fit many players and is actually a really good racket that has, no, it doesn't really have similar specs, but the Bubble Up Pure Aero 100. I mean, guys, we all know what to expect from a Bubble Up Pure Aero. A lot of power, a lot of spin, you know, Rafa Nadal, what else? Uh, but yeah, actually compared to the previous version of two years ago, I think it was, it's a little bit less powerful. And for me, it's just a win-win situation. If you guys are thinking and doubting whether you should get this one or not, because it's a little bit less powerful and you are, you know, a guy of, or a girl of powerful rackets, it shouldn't be a deal breaker for you because you can always add a little bit of weight to, uh, you know, sort of compensate on that and you can make it as powerful or even more powerful than the previous version. But what is good is that it's a little bit more stable and it has a little better feel with compared to the previous version. But 
also maintaining that sort of you know spin wrap up spin effect that is super easy to achieve and it's just a still a bubble up your aero just a little bit more refined in my personal opinion so yeah this one is the actual number four okay relax anyways let's move on It'd be kind of cool if the pro stuff was number three because it would kind of be, you know, like the, the bronze racket and it's kind of like a copperish bronze color, but no, it's, it's not number three. And number three, in fact, is... We know that it's a Yonex racket, but which one? The V-Core 100. Guys, this racket, I think it's the second time that this racket is making uh, the top five of the year on our channel, but, I mean, it's just a really, really good racket overall and although you know Yonex have come up with the with the Percept uh, line of rackets I have tried them but still this kind of has the lead in my opinion and uh, and although I usually would go for the E-Zone line of rackets because it's kind of like you know more controlled and kind of more stable but the new V-Core has really got me thinking and I've heard a lot of people enjoying this racket uh, out of my friends you know people who are playing uh, Futures ATP tournaments and they all say really good things about the V-Core 100, not even the 98. I really prefer the 100 version because it gives you pretty much the same amount of stability and control as the 98 version, but it's way more forgiving. And I just think that Yonex is kind of good at nailing the 100 inch head rackets. And plus Japanese quality, you know, every single racket you'll buy is gonna be exactly the same spec to spec. So, you know, what's not to like? So, yeah, moving on to number two. All right, number two. Yes, that's an order. Perfect. So, what we know for sure is that this is a head racket, but which one is the question? Well, guys, I don't want to, you know, break the moment, but I kind of know which one it is because I've put them in there, but still. This is the Head Speed MP Oxetic. I mean, I, I guess you kind of could feel it coming as I keep bragging about how good this new Speed MP is. I keep saying that it's a way better racket compared to the previous version and you, I mean, you, you know it. It's powerful, it's spin friendly, crazy spin friendly and thanks to the Exotic, it's now also stable, it has good feel and it doesn't wobble in your hand. What else do you want from a power oriented racket? Plus this new paint job that is just absolutely wonderfully beautiful with the copper head the logo over here and just copper accents all over the place. It looks good, it plays well, it's it's a great racket for, you know, putting weight on it and specking it up the way you want it. It's just, it just definitely deserves to be at number three. It's not on my number one because it, it just doesn't exactly fit my particular playing style. But this is a really good choice for very, very many players out there. Definitely give it a chance. You will not regret it. Trust me. Glad are you ready for this because, because I'm not. The winner, the champion, the number one of this list is again in a bag and it is once again a head racket but this time it's the head radical pro and uh, guys actually this this is actually a, a head radical mp i just couldn't find the pro on time but the paint job is pretty much the same although the specs are are quite different and they play very differently and the pro the pro radical has definitely surprised me this year they it's it's a huge improvement from last year it's it's way more stable, it's better feeling racket. It's just an overall way more complete frame than it used to be. And honestly, even though I never even considered to switching to the previous Radical Pro, even though obviously I have tried it before, this one actually made me think. And I was, you know, contemplating and thinking for a very long time of whether I should switch from my racket of choice. Because it just has everything that a player of my profile could be looking for. Stability on the back end, great control, awesome feel because, well, it's a small head size. But at the same time, I still want potential for the spin and power for my forehands and it just does everything really well. Although usually this kind of combination of small head and open string pattern does not work for me, head just somehow managed to do some magic that they usually do. Maybe it's thanks to the Oxetic, I'm not too sure, but I definitely give credits to that. But yeah, it definitely deserves to be at number one in my list of best rackets of 2023, but of course, I have to mention my personal racket of choice that I still consider to be the best and I'm not going to switch to uh, any other racket for now even though the Radical Pro was quite uh, tempting and it is the... Yes, another head racket. I just realized that I have quite a few head rackets on this list. I didn't, didn't mean to, for that to happen but it just did. The Head Gravity Pro Oxetic. I mean, guys, you know, all of you who have been watching the channel for some time know how much love I have for this particular racket. I've been playing it since its uh, introduction back 
I think two or three years ago and uh, it still keeps being my racket of choice. Uh, compared to the previous version, Auxetic once again helps it with uh, stability and in my particular opinion I like better, way better the feel of it as well. Although some people argue that the previous racket has better feel. I don't know, I prefer the new one over the previous one. I think it's better in pretty much everything. Also the design is, is quite sleek and, and sexy, you know, like uh, it's in my opinion one of also the best looking rackets out there. But yeah, you know my opinion on this particular racket because I keep talking about it in almost every single one of my videos but if you want to know more info about all the other frames of course as I said the links to the reviews of those rackets are gonna be down in the description below together with the links to get them don't want to rush you but make sure that you don't miss out on the Black Friday deals wait let me put this here before I do the outro so yeah glads there you go this is my top five best rackets of 20 23. Glads, let me know what you think about my choices down in the description below. Let's have a little bit of an argument who is wrong, who is right. Although it's kind of hard to tell who's actually wrong, who's right when it comes to tennis rackets. But yes, leave the comments down in the description below. Don't forget to check out the links to get all of these beautiful rackets also down in the description below together with our exclusive discount code Glads. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.